educational videos on biogas by Hikans. Welcome back. In this uh, session, uh, the fastest way uh, I will try to explain the entire policy scenario as well as dormant scenario. Our chapter 7 is going to be dormant support for the compressed biogas industry. Let us have a look at market outlook. Sector wise, if you look at the Indian oil and gas market is 101 billion US dollars. And out of that, 9 billion US dollars is being spent on natural gas, which is growing at about 7% plus CAGR. CAGR means compounded annual uh, growth rate. So what it means is uh, this year 7 and next year on that 7 again there will be 7 so that way. Currently natural gas is 6% of our energy basket and government wants to make it 15% of our energy basket. To make it 15% of energy basket today's consumption also will keep on growing it will not stop. So the natural gas today's consumption will have to go by 3 times. Today uh, when I look uh, last week our consumption the country's consumption is about 3 lakh tons of natural gas every day. So this we have to increase by 3 times more and in that 3 times more the CBG is going to get blended. So CBG itself will have to grow probably 100 times uh, from today's production. Today we have very meager production under uh, Satat initiative we have hardly 40 uh, CBG plants which are working. So out of that uh, 3%, 5% and up to 10% just like ethanol it is going to get blended and within these as we know uh, very famously that 80 percent of our oil gets imported and even in on the natural gas side we are importing anywhere between 55 to 65 uh, percent of gas it was like 50 55 uh, last year and uh, this year it is actually grown more because the domestic gas uh, the production is less and transporting this gas either internally within India or uh, bringing it in a LNG vessel because a vessel while it is returning it has to go probably empty. So it is a logistically challenging and we have, uh, the companies have to see that there is no shortage in the market. So it is very very uh, challenging. So uh, the best case is all these green initiatives and this oil and gas is going to become 125 billion dollar which is 110. So 25 billion dollar is getting added to this. To make this Atmanirbhar and as well as uh, the energy sufficiency depending on the other countries uh, losing the dollars it is always beneficial for the government and of course for the indian public to make as much as possible energy in house in house in the sense in the country so there is a central government subsidy available from the ministry of renewable energy typically we call it mnr in short ministry of renewable energy then there is satat scheme which you are already aware and the Reserve Bank of India has listed CBG as an agricultural infrastructure project and it is listed as a priority sector lending. Then also the fertilizer coming out of the CBG plant, be it liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer is included in something called fertilizer control order. What is that fertilizer control order is Indian public or the farmers or the traders cannot take any uh, manure and, uh, and sell in the name of fertilizer. There is a restriction it should have so much of content of various things so this cbg based fertilizer was not there that is included last year and uh, we are expecting some more revision uh, to promote this organic fertilizer which is coming out of biodegradation uh, with greater push now if you look at the central subsidy and of course at the say state level there are various uh, uh, promotion is happening in up or uh, punjab and all those uh, are far uh, for forerunners in this uh, supporting the CBG entrepreneurs and the South Indian states are uh, lagging behind there is no much promotion happening here uh, here in the sense we belong to Bangalore so I am saying it here so uh, biogas if we produce a biogas without purification anything we will be getting 25 lakhs for, per 12,000 cubic meter per day of the uh, capacity and these are all subsidies are against the investment or the capital investment we are going to make and maximum CFA they will get central financial assistant will get is 5 crore per project. If you look at bio CNG, 4 crore for 4,800 kg of output from the new biogas plant from the existing which were set up before this uh, subsidy regime, it is 3 crore they are going to get. And per uh, plant they will be getting 
and group. Here, what I want to highlight, uh, some of the people are uh, trying to say Napier grass is not eligible for subsidy, uh, maybe because of uh, with reason or uh, without knowing the right fact. The agri biomass, any kind of agri biomass, including energy crops like Napier, also is eligible for subsidy and some of our customers have already received the assurance of subsidy in a return form so there is no confusion about it and what if the plant output is designed less than 4800 kg in that case if you read this sentence fully maximum cfa is 10 crore per project whereas this is just an example so at the same ratio which comes to about 83 lakh rupee per of CBG output, in the same ratio, the smaller plants as well as the bigger plants will be getting the subsidy. And if you produce the power uh, 75 uh, lakhs per megawatt uh, for the new plants and for the existing it is 50 lakhs and power based on bio and agro uh, industrial waste that is the uh, MSW where the uh, incineration process of pyrolysis will happen. Pyrolysis is a process where the material is heated in an oxygen less environment for 700, 800 degree or above, then the methane will get produced. In such project, it is 40 lakhs per megawatt and which is maximum 5 crore. Biogas gasification or using it as a thermal application like uh, biomass is gasified through this again pyrolysis kind of process and just like a coal is gasified, the biomass itself is gasified. In that case, per kilowatt of energy they produce 2500 rupees of subsidy. Um, you can read dual engine for electrical application, 15,000 uh, per kilowatt for 100% gas engine if we produce the electricity, 2 lakh per 300 megawatt for thermal application. Thermal application means directly burning, whereas the top two are producing the electricity from this gas which is generated from the biomass uh, gasifiers. So this is the kind of government policy push and Satat basically, Satat uh, basically signs a 10 or 15 year contract based on our choice and 15 year kind of long term contract in the public sector it is very difficult to get so that way there is the kind of uh, support we are getting from the government i think this clarifies on the subsidies and coming to the state government uh, there are uh, biofuel boards in various uh, state governments and they have their own policy some of them gives uh, a complete way off on the pollution control board permission some of them give complete way off on the stamp duty on the land purchase uh, some of them give the additional subsidy on top of uh, the central government subsidy. That is a state specific subject and project to project case. We can always guide you on that. Thank you.